Okay, so this video is going to uh, walk you through how to set up a paper Bitcoin wallet. Uh, as you know, it's the best way having a paper wallet. So there are a few things here. Um, whenever it's good to get into good practice in terms of security. Whenever you're doing anything online regarding your cryptocurrencies, like when you're logging into your exchange, etc. So don't um, do anything um, like crypto wise on your normal browser so um, if you have chrome like i do just um, go on to open up an incognito window and this basically masks your online activity um, and what we're going to do is we're going to go to where you can't type a bit address dot org now the first thing you need to do is ensure that it's https up here so this basically means that you have a secure connection um, and it's not HTTP so that's the first thing um, we're going to do some uh, do it slightly different to how it recommends it doing it on here uh, it's just a safer way and you're basically going to right click anywhere on the page click save as and what, what we're doing is saving the web page um, so we can view it offline so we're going to save it here I'm going to put it to the desktop and <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, uh, I play uh, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. It's an absolutely epic computer game. I'm addicted. I love it. Um, but anyway, going back to what we're talking about, we're just going to save this. And then we're going to close this and find it. In fact, where is it? It's on another, it's on another screen. Here we go. <clears throat> so it's now saved to my desktop. And what we're going to do is um, protect yourself. So if we're going to disconnect from the internet so if you have a LAN cable just literally unplug your your computer from the internet or if you're on Wi-Fi just go to airplane mode we need to get off the internet and it's yeah to avoid prying eyes so if you have any viruses or anything like that um, we're gonna make sure we're, we're looking after ourselves and I mean if if you're gonna be putting a lot of wealth into this wallet I'd actually put take this and put it onto another computer um, not connected to the internet uh, and that should protect you from uh, key tapping. So, I mean, there are some programs where it just records the keys that you put in, etc. So, but yeah, for this example, we're not going to do that. Um, so, yeah, you're off the internet. And once you're off the internet, just open this up again. And uh, as you can see, um, we, we've got this and it's it's offline because it's, it's operating from our hard drive here, from, from the desktop. Now, when I move my mouse, you can see that the... Um, the encryption or it's adding characters for the uh, whilst it's generating our, our Bitcoin address and if you wanted even more randomness you could also type some stuff into the into the box as well and then it will get to a hundred percent and then it will generate our um, our wallet however here what it's doing we, we don't have any encryption here uh, on the single wallet so what we're gonna do is click paper wallet and then we can uh, customize this so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hide the art uh, the reason being is that if let's say you someone I don't know found your paper wallet by accident or you know broke into your safe or, or whatnot and they saw this piece of paper and they, they see it's got Bitcoin all over it they're definitely gonna take it I mean they, they know they'll know straight away that oh okay this is Bitcoin but we'll just nab it so we're gonna hide that because really all you need as you, as you know the private key over here um, and the public address that, that's all you need um, so we're also going to encrypt it so what this means is basically it has a passphrase so I don't know type anything you want I know I love cookies um, we're going to have one address and and then all you do is generate cool so that here we go this is your paper wallet um, and you've got your address there um, and your encrypted private key there and then you can print it and I would recommend printing out I don't know two copies put some one really safe somewhere um, quite hard to get to and then another one for safekeeping because if you ever lose your private key you've lost every Bitcoin that is in this wallet now I don't know what on earth, why this is taking so long to um, to show me a print preview but it, it doesn't matter um, you don't even need to print it from here all you need is is this um, so what you can actually do is um, which is probably even yeah it, 
you could, you could just record this. I mean, you don't even need the QR code. This is really all you need. So you can just print that off on, um, I don't know, get a Word doc out, and you can just print, whoop, nope. Um, all you need is just this. So you just simply control C, and yeah, you can just literally just print that off um, if you wished. So going back to where we were, that is basically it. And once you've done that, um, you are you you're still offline at the moment. So before you do that, go to basically you need to clear your your cookies and cache. So go to settings. Um, oh, I'm offline here at the moment, but basically you where is it on here? Settings. Okay, it looks really different. Um, uh, okay, I think you need to go online and then basically clear your cookies and cash. And yeah, so um, I hope that makes sense. And I will see you on the next video where we'll look at creating your Ether wallet. So I've just remembered one really uh, important thing um, whilst I was producing that video. Um, Going back to this part here, when you're generating the key and you've got your address, etc., you really need, so this is a cool thing, but also something really important. This passphrase here, you really need to remember, okay? Because you, you need your private key for when you're sending uh, Bitcoin from your, your paper wallet back onto an exchange of some sort. Um, but you'll also need this passphrase. And a lot of paper wallets don't have passphrases, which is why this, this encryption is really cool, because Let's just say you, I know you were robbed and they, they nicked your, your, your paper wallet. Well, it doesn't matter because they won't know your, your, your passphrase. Or if someone actually, you know, forced you to hand over your paper wallet, you could, knowing full well that there's actually a passphrase so that they, they won't have access to it. So hope that makes sense. And um, yeah, well, let's talk about Ether now.